Okay, well, I have uh, more to report on this little um, motor thing that I've built here. This is a choke uh, instead of a coil that you wind up yourself or a coil out of a relay or some other type of coil. That's an electronic component called a choke, and it's a 10 millihenries. It measures 10 by 16 on the dimensions. It has about 8 ohms resistance. I just have a simple rotor with uh, two north-facing magnets on either side and a toothpick for the shaft. But um, today I'm just using a double, a AAA battery uh, with the neon and the reed switch. And I found out that this will go into self-oscillation. I've got a radio here so you can hear it. And if I move this just right... That becomes an oscillator. That's the radio you hear. And that's about a hundred volt neon being uh, lit up by a AAA battery. And it still works like a pulse motor. That's what it sounds like on the radio is a pulse motor. Here again, a, a AAA battery, a simple reed switch circuit, 10 millihenry, measures 8 ohms, toothpick rotor with paper straws, and then the, the uh, magnets are north facing on each, each side. Now, you notice this thing here, I've 3D printed it now. And um, I wanted to be able to change the toothpick out easy, so I 3D printed a little cube with a hole in the middle that's a tight fit for the toothpick. So if the toothpick wears out, I just put another toothpick in it. And I may print up one um, now that has a holder slot for the um, magnets down inside a hole. So you put the magnet down the hole and it makes it more streamlined. But uh, this self-oscillation is pretty neat. Still works like a pulse motor. And you're hearing it on the radio. If I take the radio away, it doesn't make but that kind of a noise. Let me show you what the oscillator sounds like. If I just put it in oscillation, you won't hear anything. You just see the light light up. And uh, anyway, pretty neat thing. Um, based on a very, very simple concept of using a choke, which is an electronic component, instead of a, a normal uh, wound-up inductor for your drive coil. And that that turned out pretty darn neat. And what you have to do on the uh, bearing is you use crazy glue with pencil graphite. And uh, the toothpick goes through that straw into a smaller hole on the other side it, it makes kind of an unusual bearing with the um, pencil graphite and the crazy glue and it, it works really good on a wood product it goes into the wood and saturates the paper or the wood and then makes like a plastic um, impregnated um, compound this is a, all there is on the bottom but yeah, this thing here, and here again, that's that's running off a AAA battery, one and a half volt. Uh, one of the people that followed my last videos has replicated this using a ferrite antenna rod wrapped up of 400 turns, and then he's firing it with a uh, Hall effect sensor. Hall effect, and um, you have to use about three volts to do that. You can't use a, a one and a half volt, but that makes for a probably a better, more reliable motor is using a Hall effect sensor. But uh, this works pretty darn good. And like I say, what I'm probably going to do today is I'm going to redo the print design on this thing and put the uh, magnets inside the cube in like a holder. But that self-oscillation, it's pretty neat. And what's happening is this reed switch is bouncing. 
and that's causing this thing to go into that oscillation. But that's the latest, folks. My little choke pulse motor. Thanks for watching.